Ah, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. Um, and today I'm gonna um start my uh my daily division preview. Uh, as today I'm gonna start with the AFC South. I'm just gonna take a look at each team, and then at the end of the video, see who I think gonna win the division. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. <clears throat> and whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holla at your boy. Also, if you're a Madden 22 player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. Uh, the AFC South, man. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people look at this division as the weakest division in the NFL. Uh, that title used to be the NFC East, but now it's the AFC South. Um, and taking a look at each team, yo, starting, um, I'm going to start off with the Houston Texans, yo. A uh, team that, you know, didn't do so well last year, was in a rebuilding mode, uh, got new a new old head coach in the fold and Lovey Smith. Um, Lovey, obviously, we know, spent a lot of time as the head coach of the Chicago Bears, got them to a Super Bowl appearance, uh, and I feel like he had a lot of success over there, and probably, in a lot of people's eyes, was prematurely fired. Um, as you know, the Bears only had, like, one real good season since Lovey Smith's firing, really, um, you know, but, um, spent time at the University of Illinois, Came back to the to uh, Houston as a um, you know, as a defensive coordinator, and now he's the head coach over there, man. So um, shout out to Lovey for that. But um, you know, this team is re still in a uh, rebuilding mode. Um, they brought in Kyle Allen from Washington to compete uh for the starting quarterback job. Um, you know, they still got veteran Brandon Cooks over there. Uh, prayers to John Mitchell, man, um, the rookie wide receiver from Alabama. Um, not only he came off a torn ACL, but um, he got diagnosed with leukemia. So prayers to him, man. Real, real, real sad and unfortunate situation, yo. Um, but yeah, man. Um, they got, you know, got um, Derek Stingley Jr. My guy from LSU was the number three overall pick. Uh, they're gonna expect him to be basically the lockdown corner over there. Um, it's just a real young team, man. Just a real young team. Um, a lot of people feel like uh, they're going to next year be into the hunt of a franchise type of quarterback. Uh, Kyle Allen seems more of like a bridge type of guy that could come in, um, get you through a season until you get to the quarterback you really um, want to have, man. But, um, but yeah, man. Um, you know, real young team, not much is expected out of the Texans again this season. Um, you know, they finally done with the Deshaun Watson situation. So uh, we're going to see what happened with Houston this year. Um, next up, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars, um, a team that obviously uh, struggled a lot last season, but made a lot of moves in the offseason to try to improve their team. Uh, shout out to my old coach, Doug, Dougie P. Doug Peterson is now the head man over there in Duval. Um, Trevor Lawrence is coming in his second year. And they got him a couple of weapons, man. Um, Christian Kirk, wide receiver from the Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals, a guy who can make plays. Um, Evan Ingram, tight end from the Giants. A guy who never quite lived up to his, his, his billing. But a guy that you can see has extreme ability and extreme talent. Uh, and they got a, a speech that Zay Jones they brought in from the Raiders. Um, and then they got a lot of young guys on defense, man. Um, you know, uh, the number they had the number one pick in the draft over there. Um, come Walker coming in. Um, just a lot of young guys, man. A lot of young pieces. Uh, I don't really still um, expect this team to be much this season, but. Uh, they're going to be improved, I feel like. I do believe that they're on the right track um, and they're going up, you know, up the echelon to becoming a better organization and a better team. Uh, they just got to keep working hard and keep grinding. I think Dougie P going to do some good things over there in Jacksonville, but the Jaguars got to be patient with them. Uh, next, you got the Indianapolis Colts, man. Um, they made the big, they made some big moves, man. Um, getting Matt Ryan in from uh, the Atlanta Falcons after they traded Carson Wentz away 
to the Washington Commanders. Uh, Matt Ryan comes in, obviously, with a ton of experience, a guy who's been an MVP in this league, uh, a guy who's nearly won a Super Bowl. Um, so I feel like, you know, the Colts are going to be pretty excited to have him in the fold behind a very good offensive line. Um, you know, Jonathan Taylor, a guy who was, uh, I think he led the NFL in rushing last season. Uh, he's exp he's back expected to do big things again. You got the receivers like Michael Pittman, um, who had a solid year last season coming up. Let's see how much of a rapport he could build with Matt Ryan coming into this season. And then defensively, they made they made some moves, man. Two um, notable moves they made. Uh, they brought in Yannick Ngangwe, if I said it right. Um, a guy who's bounced around the last couple of years after being real, real dominant in Jacksonville. But uh, he still has potential to be a really good player. Um, and they brought in Stephon Gilmore. Now, he may not quite be the corner that he once was a couple of years ago winning NFL Defensive Player of the Year, but I still feel like that's a really nice pickup for them. And they got my, my old boy Rodney McLeod um, going to be back there trying to solidify the back end. And uh, they brought in defensive coordinator Gus Bradley. Um, never quite made it as a head coach, but for the most part has been pretty successful in this league as a defensive coordinator. Uh, I like this coach team, yo, um, especially compared to the teams in this division. I think the addition of Matt Ryan um, is really going to help. He brings um, st um, some stabilism to that quarterback position. Um, and then they got a great run again with Jonathan Taylor and a really good offensive line. And I think their defense is going to be really, really solid this year. Um, keep your eye on the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, and finally, the team I'm going to look at in this division is the def defending AFC South champs the Tennessee Titans. Um, they did lose A.J. Brown. Shout out to y'all for that. He with my, my uh, birds and all. I'm thankful for that. Uh, they did get Traylon Burks, um, the rookie from Arkansas, back in um, return. Uh, Derrick Henry coming in is the most dominant running back in the league. Dealt with a foot injury in the middle of the year. Came back from the playoffs, but really wasn't quite himself. Uh, Ryan Tannehill, man, that's the big question for them is, can Ryan Tannehill um, improve and play better than he did in that playoff game? That playoff game against Cincinnati, he was awful. And, you know, by him being so awful, um, you know, it led to their early exit despite having home field advantage in the playoffs. Um, and then defensively, you know, they, they're a solid team, man. They're real solid on the defensive side of the ball. Look, this is a team that want to – play smash mouth physical football uh, on offense and play action passing and then line up, pin their ears back and get after the quarterback on the other side of the ball. Um, it's a formula for success, but uh, Ryan Tannehill has to play better. Yo. If this team wants to continue to go further and further, Ryan Tannehill is going to have to give them more at the quarterback position. Um, and when I look at this division this season, yo, um, who I think going to win this division. Quite honestly, I like the Indianapolis Colts to take this division back. Um, I think the Indianapolis Colts will be the AFC South champ, of course, barring injuries and stuff like that. Um, I just like the, you know, the stabilism of Matt Ryan playing quarterback for them. Uh, obviously, they already got a, an extraordinary running game with Jonathan Taylor. Um, you know, Frank Wright is a good coach. And defensively, I think they're going to be better. Um we're going to see if Stephon Gilmore, I doubt that he's that guy, that elite lockdown corner that he was a couple of years ago. But I think he's definitely going to help this defense, um, along with Nguangwe. Uh, and then don't forget, uh, they got the, uh, the Tasmanian devil himself, Darius Leonard, in the middle of that defense, um, making plays and wreaking havoc. Uh, I do think that the Indianapolis Colts will be the AFC South champs. Um... You know, with the Tennessee Titans coming in second, um, Jacksonville, I think, will be third. They're improving, but they just still obviously have so much more things to do um, to this roster from a personnel standpoint. But I do think that they're getting better and better. And I think Doug Peterson uh, will make that fan base, you know, pretty happy because they'll start doing some good things. And the Houston Texans, I just think they really fall away right now. They don't have a quarterback. They don't have much skill position players, much players on defense. The team needs to just com a complete overhaul, and they're starting on the rebuild, um, you know, from last year actually going into this season. Uh, but I like the Indianapolis Colts to win the AFC South. 
Um, but that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly Eagles fly.